Using displacement maps in 3D space in After Effects can be quite unintuitive. Let me show you what I mean. I have this simple scene here with a 3D background layer and a camera that's moving closer to it. And I have this cracked glass texture that I've pre-comped. I'm using it as the source for the displacement map in this adjustment layer. A pretty common standard After Effects displacement map setup. The problem is, my displacement map isn't following the camera move, it's just sitting there in 2D space. Well, you might think, let's just turn on the 3D switch on the displacement map layer. That does not solve our problem at all. The displacement map is still not operating in 3D space. Then you might think, how about let's turn on the 3D on the adjustment layer. That also doesn't work. That pretty much never works. The real solution is, you have to go inside your displacement map pre-comp. Turn on the 3D switch there on the layers, and then turn on the collapse transformations in your main comp, so that the properties of the layers inside the pre-comp would come true in the main comp. Now you can see the displacement map is following the camera and behaving like it should in 3D space. You can then actually go inside your displacement map pre-comp and play around with the Z position of your textures to create some parallax effects. You can even duplicate the textures and distribute them in Z space to create some extra depth 